In this demonstration we're going to run through a quick process of creating a simple design from a sketch just using ArcChem's drawing tools and 2D toolpathing techniques. Our starting point is going to be a digital photo of a very rough sketch that was made of the part. So we're going to open a JPEG here and size it approximately, it doesn't matter because we can scale that later. As you can see this is a very rough sketch indeed but it shows the part that we want to create and that is a bunch of simple 2D pieces that are going to create a rocking toy in the shape of a duck for a child. We're going to start by fading the bitmap inside of ArcChem to make it easier to see the vectors as I'm drawing them. You can see I can still see the key detail that I want but now it's much easier for me to see these vectors as I create them and use the lines that are there in order to help me to describe the design in the way that I want it to look. You can see it's very easy to, for me to edit vectors such as the one here that's going to represent the wing or even to start to create additional vectors maybe for the eye here which I can set up as a very precise value. I can easily make copies of those as well. The vector creation and editing tools in ArcChem are extremely powerful. Here we're going to use a combination of them to create the rocker for our toy. First I'm going to describe the arc using an ellipse, then I'm going to insert and cut the vector in order to remove the top part of it. Now we can take this, we can create an offset and we can join those together using a smooth arc. All very quick and easy to do. Also if I want to describe the line, the flat line across here, we can sketch that in using the automatic snapping functions inside of ArcCam and the ability to then take and trim the pieces that we don't need very very simply and then join those two shapes together as well. In this way we continue and create the rest of the vectors for our design. That will take another few minutes so we're going to jump forward to the point where that's been done. So here are our finished vectors. What I'm going to do now is take these, copy and paste them into another file. The file that I'm going to create is going to be 48 by 48 which is the piece of material I want to cut this out from. I'm going to paste that in. I'll just move that down the bottom here so we can see it a bit better. The next stage of the design is to scale the part accurately. In my original sketch I wanted this to be 36 inches. So we're going to take it and just assign that. We got pretty accurate with our sketching as it was. I want to be very precise so I can apply that and close it and I know the controlling dimension of this is now 36. I could individually scale all or any of the parts as well. In order to personalise and add value to the product that we're making, we're going to give the option to our customers of putting their child's initials on the wing of the duck. So we can take this here, we can accurately position it using ArcCam's tools and we can move that over if we want until we're happy with the position. Next, to prepare the part for machining, we're going to copy some of the pieces. Firstly, what I want to do is take the wing and make a copy of it, and we can do that very easily in ArcCam. In fact, what we're going to do is machine the wing separately and v-carve the letters into it. Then that will be inlaid into a cavity that we're going to create here on the duck. Now, because we're going to make this two-sided, we need to copy the parts and mirror them. Everything except the seat, which we only need one of. So we're going to go to the vector mirror tool, make a copy, mirror everything to the right and now we've got all the components we need in order to get the duck ready. One problem we've got though is we've reversed the initials over here. So we're going to come back to those, mirror them and just mirror them about their own centre in order to get them in the correct position again. In a short amount of time we've gone from our sketch to creating all the parts that we need to machine this duck. Now what I want to do is use ArcCam's powerful nesting tool in order to optimise the way that I'm going to use the material and cut these parts out. We're going to select the parts that we've got here, go into the nesting and set up the parameters based on the tooling and the clearance that we want to use. We're going to be pretty generous in this case. I'm going to hit nest and I'm asking the software to nest the parts as best as they can inside the piece of material that we've got here which is 48 by 48 It'll take a few seconds to analyse the parts and then you can see very quickly generate exactly what we need, keeping everything in the right orientation. 
Let's take a look at the toolpath creation. Arkham has an extremely powerful and flexible set of two and two and a half axis machining strategies. We're going to use a few of those here. What I've done is I've pre-set up a template and this would be in the typical situation where this was the type of work you did often. So you could quickly set these toolpaths up and save you having to type them in each time. We're going to start by v-carving the letters on the wings here. So we just pop up the v-carving toolpath, hit calculate, and very quickly, because we've already set up the parameters, we're able to get our finished result. Next, we're going to inlay cut these areas. By inlay cutting them, we're going to allow for material to make sure that these parts over here will fit into them once they're machined. This is extremely powerful, especially if you're working with lettering or parts that need to slot together accurately. And the software automatically does that calculation for you. Lastly, we're going to go and select all the other pieces and do a profile cut. Arcam has extremely powerful profile cutting. We can add leads, we can arc into the job, we can even ramp into the job. Really giving us a tremendous amount of control over how we enter the material and what kind of surface finish we get on it when we're finished. Once the toolpaths are calculated, we've also got a way in Arcam of checking them or verifying them. We can go into the 3D view and we can work our way through to ensure they give us the look that we were hoping. First we'll check the V carving. Next we can check the pockets that we're going to cut for the wings. And finally all the pieces that we're going to cut out. If we're happy with the part at this stage, we can take it and output it to our CNC machine. And we're ready to run. So you can see, even starting from a simple sketch that we took a digital photograph of, we can bring that into ArtCam, use ArtCam's powerful vector manipulation and creation tools in order to build the design that we need. We were then able to use a number of ArtCam's automatic tools, such as the ability to mirror, insert text, and then also the true shape nesting in order to get the optimal use of the material in this case. Very quickly then, using the template, we could assign the toolpaths we needed, and literally in a matter of minutes, we're now ready to run this on a machine, cut the part, sell it to our customer and make money.